let's begin to implement authentication and authorization and the first method that we are going to use is called cookie based authentication and i advise you to watch the previous video whereby we explain how authentication works and also the differences between authentication and authorization and also before continuing make sure that you are familiar with how to render assets for example template engines and also be familiar with mirrors and all of these ones we have covered them intensively so before we continue we are going to implement each method in two ways because we can have full stack application whereby we are going to use the client into it in this case the browser so in this case the user is going to interact with our application using the browser and also we will implement when dealing with apis and that is how to authenticate apis when dealing with backend development for each of these we are going to have two types of authentication systems how to implement them before continuing i'm not going to involve database into it for the meantime otherwise the logic will be complicated as soon as you got the concept then we will integrate database into it so it means that we are going to mimic all right with this one being said let's begin with the first authentication method and that is cookie based authentication before we get into code let's see how cookie based authentication works the flow is going to be the same but the difference here is that how the server is going to store the token or the cookie that has been generated so let's begin and before we begin let me show you the application that we are going to build and that is user authentication with cookies and these are the concepts that we are going to use so here we have an endpoint that has been protected unless you are authorized so if i try to go to forward slash dashboard as you can see it is asking me to log in and if i click on the get started it will take me to the login over here i'm gonna use john and this password if i log in as you can see it has taken me to my dashboard and says welcome john and if i go to home page and i try to access the dashboard as you can see I can now access that dashboard because I have been authorized and authenticated. And if I log out and go to home page and try to access the protected route, as you can see, unless I log in. So we are going to use this concept to implement authentication. So let's begin with the cookie based authentication. Cookie authentication is like getting a hand stamp when you go to a festival. The first time you enter, you show your ticket. In return, you get a stamp on your hand. The next time you want to enter, you simply show the stamp instead of going through the whole ticket process again. In cookie authentication, in cookie authentication, the server verifies your credentials like username and password that's the first time you logged in if you are authenticated successfully the server sends a unique piece of data and that is a cookie to your browser this cookie is stored locally on your machine and sent back to the server every time you make a subsequent request the server then reads this cookie to confirm your identity and grant you access to the secured resources. Think of logging in into a website like Netflix. The first time you log in, you enter your email and password. Netflix checks that you are you and then sends your browser a special piece of data, for example, cookie. 
From then on, every time you click on a new show or make any request on Netflix, this cookie gets sent along automatically so Netflix knows it's still you, without asking you to log in again. Now let's see the flow. And we have these steps. Step number one is user login, server sends the cookie, and user makes subsequent requests. So let's begin with the user logged in. The user will submit his or her password and username, then the server will now check, as you saw in the general flow of authentication. And in case the user details are correct, then for step two, server sends cookie. And that is, the server is going to send authentication cookie to the user browser. And that cookie is going to store locally. Then when the user wants to make a request, the user will now send the cookie with the request. Then the server is going to check the cookie. If it is correct, then the server is going to grant the access. But if it is incorrect, the server is going to deny the request. That is how cookie-based authentication works. Now let's observe when to use this. Cookie authentication is most useful in traditional server rendered applications where you want to maintain a user's login state across multiple requests. It is especially beneficial when you want to offer a seamless user experience without requiring users to log in every time they visit. The takeaway here is that this method is for traditional web applications because this approach has some challenges because the user cookie is being stored inside the user browser and this can be tampered using JavaScript. So this approach is not recommended anymore. But let's see how it's going to be used because understanding this will help you to master other concepts as well. Now let's observe these rules. Always transmit cookies over HTTPS to prevent eavesdropping. And use secure HTTP only and same site flags to add layers of security to your cookies. And implement searching expiration to reduce the potential damage from a stolen cookie. Also try to rotate searching identifiers regularly. So in a nutshell, Cookie authentication is a popular method for maintaining a user session in web applications. Once the user logs in, the server issues a cookie that is stored in the user's browser. This cookie is then automatically sent with each subsequent request to the server, serving as an identifier that allows the server to maintain the user sessions. In the next video, we will get into code to see how to implement this.